Hey, we're, back. we're back with Dave and Kathy, and they're here to talk about painting some of those traffic boxes. Yeah. Yeah, well, we've got our seventh annual program that we've started. It's um, sponsored by the City of Missoula Public Art Committee, along with some great community members. We, I tell you, um, many people in Missoula have seen the traffic signal boxes. We have 44 out of 72 done. Awesome. And for this program, we were, are offering, offering six more opportunities. There is going to be one in the university area, cool. one on Reserve Street, three um, in this the Franklin de Fort neighborhood area. And I should say that the university area, we are getting help from the University Neighborhood Council and in Grand awesome. Creek. We are, they are helping us with that Reserve Street box. Oh, nice. And then we have the Franklin de Fort neighborhood. We have two on Russell and one on Johnson and 14th. And then, of course, one downtown on, oh. yes, cool. on Maine and Higgins. Oh, nice. So are these... Um, a repaint job or is it going to be because I've noticed that like most of the boxes have been painted so are these um, ones that haven't been painted these are all that haven't been painted really? we have 72 total traffic signal boxes within the urban area or mm -hmm. the city of Missoula yeah um, the call is open to any artist living in Missoula County so truly um, some of these boxes for example um, there's actually a couple in Lolo that really aren't in the city limits but we are going to be working with them eventually um, but they're all unpainted boxes and we invite artists from Missoula County to submit ideas. Our art called Just Went Out. Cool. And artists can, and the easiest way for artists to get that art call is really to go to the City of Missoula website mm -hmm. and then go to Public Art. Perfect. And right. then it'll say Art Calls along the side and you click on that and that'll take you to the actual art call. Yeah, you can put awesome. it in any search engine, um, mm -hmm. um, City of Missoula, and it pops up mm -hmm. pretty simply. Mm -hmm. You can put in City of Missoula and then Art. Yeah, And then it exactly. should just kind of guide you there and um my favorite art box out there <laughs> is the uh, one that's painted like a um popcorn oh, stand oh, the yeah. one off broadway mm -hmm. yeah that, that was my favorite awesome. one i always drive by i was like what is that and then i crash <laughs> yeah um, so which is it's your a guys' favorite, favorite it's a favorite of many i have lots dave how about you oh i do too but i i like the ones that were put into our neighborhood last year they're on my mind a lot one of them's on beckwith and arthur and that's a street that i go down just about every day so i think that gets extra extra credit in my head because of that that there's just so much variety out there and people like me in the neighborhoods really enjoy these boxes that's yeah. why i'm here actually i'm on the leadership team for our neighborhood council we wrote the grant that is going to have three of our boxes decorated by the end of this year. We had two last year, and the last one on up on the north end of Arthur will be decorated this year. The Office of Neighborhoods has a grant program, and a lot of the boxes that Kathy's talked about have come because neighborhoods said, hey, we want a really neat box decoration mm -hmm. by a local artist right. that'll make our neighborhood stand out and, and just make my commute even better. Yeah. And so uh, I'm here to, to push that. I'm gonna see great art uh, on the last remaining box in, in there. And as a Missoulian, I'm gonna see great art on all of those boxes as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Where is the last box on in the University District? It's on the north end of Arthur, just okay. just before you get to the bridge if you're going north. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and just as you come into the neighborhood. So it'll be the sort of the opening thing that you'll see. Any artist that's looking for I a see. great location. Because that, that's that the new be, light. That's the new light they put the in for that. That's yeah. a new yeah. light and, yeah. a, and a pretty new box, too. It's really shiny. Yeah. That's <laughs> nice. See it. But it won't be shiny. shiny. Not shiny. Yeah. <laughs> it won't be shiny. Unless now. the artist uh, cool. you know, <laughs> determines to like paint the um, box a box. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, it, you know, it is though, painted in a box. It's, it's like, avant garde. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, performance art. Yeah. <laughs> well, and the other thing about the project, from the beginning, we, we mm -hmm. had a number of goals. One is to have it open to any artist that truly came right. up with an idea. And not every artist is a painter. Mm -hmm. So some of the art, the artwork is done with vinyl, where the artist's imagery is transposed right. into an image file and then I see the transferred one, the onto one on vinyl. Higgins is, mm -hmm. it's all pictures. It's pictures of bikers in Missoula. Mm -hmm. I think that's yes. my favorite one. The biking to Missoula is oh. really neat. Yeah. 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 yeah, we yeah. have one that was done by a quilters group. Oh, fun. And they have, their design was, it looks just like a quilt, but it's uh, right near Holy Spirit Episcopal Church and behind the tuck shop on okay. Higgins there. Okay. On 6. Uh, on 6. Cool. Mm -hmm. yeah, so then when is the end deadline for submissions? Deadline for submissions is May 29th. Okay. So. But, so artists have two months. But the other important thing we wanted to talk about is on Thursday evening, mm -hmm. 
um, we are having at City Hall, or the City Council Chambers, I will say, a meeting, and an introductory meeting for artists who want to learn more about the Traffic Signal Box program. Cool. Learn how to do it, learn how to submit, get copies of mm -hmm. the art call, a more or less informational meeting. Um, and just to, to guide them, because some artists have never done or experienced anything like public art. Yeah. Um, they've done private commissions, mm -hmm. but with in the world of public art, we balance the aesthetics with health, safety, and welfare. So you'll see the artists actually executing the project at the end of August on the same weekend as Roots Festival. Fun. But um, they're protected with traffic cones, and we have caution tape around them, and we have sidewalks closed signs. Sure. So there, there's that balance, and we want the artists to know as much about the project as we can. So tomorrow night, 5.30, um, or Thursday night the 9th at 5.30 in the City Council Chambers. Awesome. Cool. Great. Um, so one last time, um, where pe where can people get more information about this and how they can submit their art? You want to say it this nope, time? you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, easiest thing, truly, is to go to the City of Missoula public art website, which now they've changed the intro to ci.missoula.mt.us forward I'm slash very, public uh, art. <laughs> very well. <laughs> so, but City of Missoula public art on the left-hand side of your screen um, or on the page, the web page, will be art calls. And if you click on that, you'll be able to go. Um, uh, one other thing too, artists can also, it'll say register for art calls. We love that. We have almost 400 artists now at last count registered to receive the wow. art calls. So as soon as we post any art calls, you automate, automatically get those to your email. Oh, perfect. So um, at, in the same location. Cool. Perfect. And I just want to throw in, from my experience, Kathy and the group that she works with every year has a great, great tradition of helping people who've never done this before. So if last year we had a gal who was a uh, a senior in high school and she had never done anything wow. like this mm -hmm. but Kathy's phone number is in there <laughs> give her a call it's easy whether you're professional mm -hmm. or you're coming at this as an entire amateur really cool awesome well so thanks awesome. for joining us guys oh thanks yeah. so much yeah. thanks yeah. for having yeah. us we love the project people in Missoula love the project mm -hmm. and I will tell you the mayor's office gets letters all the time what a great idea good this is. I'm great. excited yeah. to see the yeah. new boxes yeah, yeah. yeah. great but thanks again. six new ones mm -hmm. well stick with us we have plenty more show to Come up, coming up with uh, Noel has events coming right after this.